Time now to get over to the kitchen and check in for the first time with our culinary director, Judy Gallagher, and see what she's cooking up for lunch today. Hi, Judy. Well, hi there, Scott. I have some delicious soft shell crab. I'm going to give you some tips on where to buy them already cleaned and to let you know that if you soak them in milk for about 15 minutes in the refrigerator, that will get rid of that extra odor, shall we say, that sometimes you have when you're buying seafood, especially with the soft shell crabs. So we're going to pan fry them and we're going to do them in a traditional way with capers and butter and olive oil. Julienne of smoked sun-dried tomatoes is going to give that pop along with some grape tomatoes and bring it all together on some spaghetti. I think you're going to love it. So stay with me throughout the hour. It's soft shell crab season. Maybe they want to catch some soft shell crab. They'll have to head down to the Maryland way, but I love soft shell crab. Now, depending on where you can get it, they're going to become previously frozen. You definitely want to get them already cleaned. It's a lot of hassle and it's not very pleasant to have to clean them. So I get them already cleaned. I've soaked them in milk. I patted them dry. And then there they go in the saute pan. I'm going to add a little more oil. And we're just going to gently saute them. And the same thing like shrimp. It's just until you start to get that red color, as you can see, we're starting to get. Now I have some fresh broccoli rabe. And I'm just going to zap this in the microwave just for a minute or two. I want you to look at the base. If the base is solid, then you know it's nice and fresh. As it begins to hollow out, that's when you know it's getting old. But this is just perfect. In it goes. Let's do that for two minutes. I still want it crunchy. So I don't want to go too much. A tablespoon of water is going to be perfect with it. Now, aside from seasoning your flour, you want to add salt and pepper to the flour and to the soft shell crabs. Now, as I'm getting ready to turn it over, I'm just going to add a little bit of butter and a little bit of garlic. We're going to keep using this same pan throughout this cooking segment to really build up the flavor because the crabs themselves just Mmm, they elicit this great flavor. I have room now for the last one. Dip it in there. Soft shell crabs are also really great if you want to deep fry them. So again, you would do that buttermilk procedure like I did the other day with onion rings. And then you can use either a tempura batter or something similar. Now see where we're getting that red color? That's just, this one can go a little bit more. But when you see that red color, and you can almost smell the aroma of them starting to toast. So this is perfect. So as they finish up, I'm going to deglaze the pan with just a little dry white wine. There we go. Not too much. We don't want them to start to steam in them, but we just want them to pick up the essence of the flavor. And I'm going to put in some capers, some drained capers. We come back, I'm going to go ahead and saute up two types of tomatoes. Get ready to add that pasta and then bring it all together. I think you're going to love this. Ooh, I have my own fishing tournament going on in a pan. So I sauteed off the soft shell crab, dipped it in the flour and salt and pepper. Now I've sauteed some leeks. It's not in the recipe online because I had some leeks left over from yesterday's recipe. That's what I like to do is just kind of look in your refrigerator, shop your refrigerator. You know, I always said shop your closet, shop your refrigerator for added things so you can accessorize your dish with. So I'm going to add in about another tablespoon of butter and the we have the leeks all caramelized. Remember, we have all that residual from frying off the soft shell crab and the capers. Now we're going to add another chopped garlic clove. And I'm going to add some julienne of smoked sun-dried tomatoes. You can buy these in the packets right up at Fresh Market at the, um, right up on the butcher's counter. They're going to be right there. They're really good. And again, when you saute it in, it just adds that extra pop of flavor. Speaking of pop of flavor, let's add a teeny bit of crushed red pepper. And I'm feeling the need for a few more capers in here. So we're going to give that, saute it around. The moisture is going to rehydrate the sun-dried tomatoes a bit. Add a little bit more oil, saute, and then we add a little bit more white wine. Remember, we deglazed with the white wine. White wine. Now we've added a little bit more, and that last bit of butter. And now, if you want to cut back on the butter a little bit, you can use a little vegetable stock or fish stock in here just to give it some moisture. Now let's take our spaghetti and, of course, as I drop it right on the stove as well. Any pasta will do, but I find with this dish I really like to use spaghetti. 
It just really adheres to it. It's kind of light as you're eating it with the soft shell crabs. So as this sautés, my last step is I'm gonna add the soft shell crabs back into the pan. So that heat is just gonna bring that flavor up with the pasta. The juice from the soft shell crabs are going to definitely drip into the pasta. Now if I were home, I would literally just put this pan on the table with tongs and everybody could help themselves to exactly what they want. And I may just do that for the most part, but take a little bit out for John Scalzi. So stay with me, it's just about time for lunch as we season up the last of the soft shell crabs. I think he's gonna really like this. Soft shell crabs, you gotta love them. You gotta, I was just mm. washing a pan in the break room and somebody said, hold me mm. some, hold me some. Mm. You know, I think they marry really well with get the smokiness of the sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Come right in a pouch, fantastic. Delicious. Little wine, little butter, some olive oil. And then I just put the broccolini, the broccoli rob on the base and it's gonna absorb all that, make it mm. a power dish that's not too fattening. A couple of tablespoons of butter, but that was enough for four people. So do. you spread it out and it's not bad. At all. Absolutely delicious. How, any idea how long they'll be in season? Oh, Not it's long, a sh it's it? short. It's short. Yeah. I would get them while you can. I think within the next two weeks we'll yeah, have our run it. locally here. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, the recipe for it is on our website, mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining button. It'll take you there and give you all the information that you need. These are really tasty. Uh, some great menu ideas. Some great uh, solutions. Judy, thank you very much. Thank you, John. Okay.